Good morning. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fine. I'm back again and the consistency start now. Do me a favor, like this video, subscribe and be part of the Million family. But can we take this channel to 2 million because we are here to celebrate Africa and African excellence. You might never know. Maybe I might be in your house, I might be in your farm, I might be in your real estate production just to come and tell your story. But I just want to tell you all something. If you see me winning today, please don't envy me. If you see me staying in this big mansion, please just be happy for me. If you see me with a million subscribers, my brother, my sister, just let my story inspire you. Because my story or my journey hasn't been easy. It's a journey of resilience. It's a journey of determination. It's a journey of what? Consistency. It's a journey of sorrow and tears. Sometimes I'm a positive person and I hardly share the struggles. But since we finally hit a million, I just want to tell you guys my story. How I started from zero to a million subscribers. Are you all ready to hear from me? Do me a favor, like the video. It's very important for me. Subscribe and be part of this awesome family. And you know what? Let the story begin. Hey, oh boy, China. Oh boy, Naija. Ah, they could serve. I did. Oh, Tony Mega Bush. China, Bob. Tony Lala. China, Bob. Mugabe San. Of course. I'm telling you. How are you, man? Ah, man, I did. 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 I Welcome to the largest country in East Africa. You are wondering, yeah? How did I get here? It was a great struggle. Listen, all I want to tell you is that believe in yourself, be yourself, and you'll be able to achieve whatever you set your mind on. And this is what I did. Let me tell you something. I created my channel in January 2013. I didn't create a channel because I wanted to become a YouTuber. I created a channel just because I wanted to comment on a video of two young Ghanaians living in America, dancing and showing off every single day. And their names are Apush and Boga GH. A big shout out to these two guys. And I believe that they actually inspired my journey. That's why I'm giving them a shout out. But our first YouTube video, this is the first guy I started my video with. My first video was with this guy. Do you know that? I am Maya. I am Maya. And oh my God. He, he's the one behind the whole oh what Maya YouTube channel. Oh my God. I am Maya. Oh boy, challenge that. <laughs> no, I, I can't believe I'm seeing you here, man. You know, I was sleeping. Let me tell you something, you guys don't know. I was sleeping and this guy came and was like, hey, let's go shoot some YouTube video, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're just bored down, yeah? Because in China, when it's vacation, we all have to stay in our rooms and then people that have money travel. I was a broke guy, so I had to stay in my room. And Asari came and said, let's go and shoot a video. I mean, Asari has no idea about cameras, so we had one guy who is from Nigeria who was the only videographer we had on campus. So we went out from our first video that you seen on the screen. Colum, the way that you knock it on me. Colum, the way that you place it on me. Colum, 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 Colum. And listen, after we filmed the video, it took us three months before they edited that video that you see. 
yeah and they gave me back the video and when they gave me the video it was not a video that i wanted to put on youtube yeah but since they gave me the video i just wanted to save the video i wanted to store the video somewhere because i never had a pen drive so youtube was an alternative for me to save the video and that's where the whole journey began when i uploaded the video on youtube just to save it i started sending the videos to my friends and they were like oh that's funny then i decided to continue making youtube videos and that is why i used my first experience in china as my first youtube video this video that you seen right here it's a raw story and i did it with my own friend tony mega Bush from zimbabwe a big shout out to you tony and i can't wait to see you in zimbabwe tony mega Bush. China, tony lala China, <laughs> China, China, <laughs> I mean, when I started doing all of that, I think a lot of people enjoyed it. And trust me, I never had a phone. I never had a camera. I always had to beg people to film a YouTube video for me. And the guy who was filming my YouTube video for me passed on. Can you believe it? May your soul rest in perfect peace. He passed on and everything just shut down. Six months later, I told myself that you know what i really have passion for this and i really want to continue and this is what you're seeing today it took me two years to pull myself together to hit 1k subscribers some of you i can even give you a shout out today and you hit 10k but personally it took me two years to get 1k subscribers you are wonderful and when i got a 1k subscribers once again, a big shout out to a doctor from Ethiopia who was living in America. He saw me and said, I know you have a great future and I want to be part of that future. So you know what? I'm going to buy you a camera. That was the first time I had a camera. This camera was bought by a YouTube subscriber. It's um, Canon 700D. And in fact, like it's brand new. It's not. It's not second hand. It's not second hand. It's brand new. Like you see the box. I just um, unboxed it today, and um, everything. Everything is here, man. Like I don't know how to express. I don't know how to thank this guy. But before that, someone might ask, what were you shooting your videos with? Can you believe that I bought a mic, a microphone without having a camera? So I had a mic, and when I see someone who has a a camera, I would just pull my uh, Mike in it and I was like yo can you help me film a video <laughs> and that's when I met my best Chinese friend he was a photographer and he was like you know what I will be your personal camera guy only if I'm not busy taking pictures so anytime this guy is free i will carry my microphone and go with him and then we'll go shoot a youtube video and that's how i built my channel from that 57 subscribers to what to 1k yeah and then i took over when the ethiopian guy bought me the camera and my first video went viral <laughs> And that is where I ended up getting 9,600 subscribers right after graduation. I got entered in 2017, had my 1K, my 9,600K uh, subscribers, and at the end of the day, I told myself that this is something that I really want to do. I continued and I lost my dad in April 2017. 
that also shut down everything and when i was supposed to come for my dad's funeral i had to sell my camera that was bought for me by someone in order to raise money to come for my dad's funeral grounded firm and deep in the savior's love that the journey hasn't been easy I did that and at the end of the day anytime I talk about that I get emotional man. Uh, the video must continue okay I did that and I went back to China and once again I had a Chinese friend who used to give loans so somebody actually came for a loan and he defaulted the loan the, car, the guy used his camera as a collateral and the guy was my best Chinese friend and he was like you know what I'm gonna give you this camera but you have to pay in installment I, I really love the fact that so many Chinese people supported my journey one thing that he did for me that I will forever be grateful was when I lost my dad. You know, I told you guys that I quit school, right? Yeah. But this guy gave me two years visa just to stay in China. He's the guy behind it. I don't know what to tell you guys, but personally, when I wanted to move to Africa, when I wanted to come in here, most of the Africans that I knew never supported the idea of coming back to africa never supported the idea of saying that oh let me support this brother with a dollar because it was it, it, it was a struggle man but i really wanted to do this once again a big shout out to my ex-girlfriend i don't know most of you definitely know her candice she was my camera lady she sometimes hosts the youtube video she sometimes fund our trip to just go make YouTube videos until everything just got sorted but at the end of the day life must continue so we had to go our separate ways and from there I moved to Africa and moving to Africa changed my life and I just want to say that if you subscribe to my channel after I moved to Africa I want to say thank you for believing in me thank you for believing in this young annoying village boy from Ghana you know what I'm just gonna stop here and let's continue right after this if you see me chilling with the big boys please don't envy me if you see me flying first class courtesy of Ethiopian Airlines please don't envy me if you see me living in presidential suit courtesy of Royal Senchi please don't envy me if you see me living in this mansion courtesy of star property please don't envy me if you see me wearing slippers courtesy of watermire please don't envy me the journey has been real moving to africa was one of the biggest risks i've ever taken and that risk was really worth it i came to africa on a loan because I know and believe that promoting Africa was my calling. And yet, my African friends never supported this. I'm gonna say this over and over again. Until my Chinese guy saw me and he's like, we've been together for five good years and I believe in your dreams. I see you're a hardworking guy. You know what, please don't disappoint me. Let's use this credit card, buy the ticket. Please, when you go, come back and let's pay the loan and that's what we did and I was scared doing that but I knew that I have to go back to Africa when I came I first landed in Ethiopia Addis Ababa once again that's why Ethiopia is so dear to my heart because the guy who bought me a car is from Ethiopia my first ever YouTube video from Africa was from Ethiopia so Ethiopia lives in my heart man and someday, we're going to take over the African Union, mark it on the wall. And listen, 
I came to Ethiopia, and I'm first of all, I also met the love of my life, the woman of my dreams. Do I have to say that? The girl that I will be marrying very soon. That's why I met her, and I think everything was planned, man. Like this was meant to happen. I did my first video in Ethiopia. I moved on to Rwanda, and that video of sitting in the gutter went viral. And that video changed my life. All I did was I called my friend back in China and I told him that, hey, we're paying back the loan. I went back to China again, packed all my stuff, and then moved back to Africa. And I've never looked back. Once again, I just want to say that thank you so much for believing in me. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for nurturing me because listen i always tell you guys that if you see me going wrong send me an email because i'm not perfect I, i'm just a young guy who is on a journey to change the narrative i might be wrong in so many ways but don't forget to criticize me i mean i love criticism because criticism makes me do better most of you don't even know that you good most of you don't even know that this whole entrepreneurship series that i brought was out of criticism and that alone changed my life and those videos is bearing the fruit of what you're seeing behind me those videos is what is bearing that real estate that i'm doing because i met people that mentored me i met people that inspired me i met people that shaped my journey so if you see me here today, don't envy me. If you see me here today, just be happy for me. Because the journey has been real. We finally hit a million. We finally got Ghana's first um, gold plaque. I just want to say a big shout out to Stickers GH. He came into the scene when I had 300K. And we've been doing it till we hit a million. And I believe that now that we've expanded now that we have five more people that are going to edit our videos for us we're going to be bringing you guys video every single day so stay tuned every um 8 p.m gmt every day turn on your post notification please leave a comment i, I just want you all to be in like let's let's engage in the comment section talk to me and if you also want to send me private messages if you want to be um do business with us the message that this number will be on your screen please just send a message and uh we're gonna take it from there i love and appreciate each and every one of you but for now let the party begin <laughs> Five minutes and I'm gonna be quick. Okay. First of all, I just yeah. want to say that thank you all so much for coming. Yeah, I really appreciate each and every one of you. I'm so sorry for whatever that has happened. Uh, you know, we all live in Ghana, so we should get used to this. So, this house is not my house, by the way. <laughs> this house is for each and every one of you in here. I, I just realized that there are a lot of people who would love to create content, but they don't have phones, they don't have laptops and all of that. So I decided to sign a contract with Star Property to give us this wow. house for free. Wow. So we are not paying anything. <laughs> <laughs> so the most important thing is whatever idea that you have, just walk in here Snake and Yamise, as you say, you can also run in here <laughs> and then come and shoot the video that you want to shoot. Keke. Keke, that's it. But make sure when you are going, you don't take our cameras away. Leave our laptops behind. So if you can swim, you, if you create content that has to do with swimming, 
you can swim in here. If it's food block, we have the kitchen in there. Wow. And, and <laughs> so anyone can come in here. So far as you're a content creator, this place is for you. And you're burning a lot here. No, 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 it's open. Somebody's gonna be here. Yeah. <laughs> Someone is gonna be here. And um you know, question, okay. Yeah, it's in Baha. Uh, 12 midnight, Obi Waha. Obi Waha, Obi Waha. Oh, no, yeah, Obi Waha. Obi Waha, Obi Waha. They want English. Oh, she wants English? You want English? Okay, so everyone has his time. He could, 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 could. You know? So if I come here 12 midnight, uh -huh. would there be someone here? Yeah, yeah, 12 midnight, someone will be here. Okay, so, so I, I shoot, like, I shoot my content at 12 like midnight, yeah. Seven. Today actually marks um, a great day because I'm actually the first Ghanaian to hit a million subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, YouTube sent a plaque to Ghana. Wow. And this is the first one ever. Okay. And I just want to take this opportunity to open the plaque. Yeah. So that it will inspire all of us to know that it's possible. Okay. All right, Charlie, baby. It, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. I want you to come, man. <laughs> All for you. Oh, wow. see, when, when, when I first hit 100k, uh -huh. so it was yeah. the same. Please, can you come? This side. Yeah, so we can film you from this. Thank you. Wow. Oh, I wasn't going to say, oh. So, the first time I hit 100k on YouTube, that's when I met her. I got the 100k plaque. I told her that, you know what, and I want to open this with you. And she said, you know what, if you have been able to do this, then I can also do it too. So opening a million, I think I just want to give it to you again, Aww. together with Koto Sheldon. <laughs> the best content creator in Ghana, <laughs> you and Sheldon. And we all can touch it a bit and feel it, yeah. Uh, present it? Hey. Today too, we don't have. Uh, Sheldon, sorry, sorry. Sheldon, I hate you. Very well, good. Oh, let's take a photo. Eh? So they said we should take a photo first. Okay, okay let's start. One, two, three, four. Let's start. Nine, eight, seven, six, hey. five. Guys, I can't see so fast now. to Watermaya for passing a million subscribers. Wow. wow. All right. Woo. So I guess, yeah. start from here. Please give me a picture, a picture please. Yeah. <laughs> let, me t let me tap into this blessing. Yaman, yeah, yaman, yeah, yaman, yeah, yaman, yeah, yaman, yeah, yaman. Yeah, 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 this is me, tapping into the blessing. Yeah. Even though traveling in Africa has been one of the best things I've ever done, but also, it's been one of the toughest things I've ever done in my entire life. 
but that first thing has taught me so many things in a short period of time. I've been arrested just for traveling in Africa. This chick right here have been slapped so many times just for traveling in Africa. I've been detained just for traveling in Africa. Listen, I've been denied entry for a country just for traveling in Africa. Yeah, the journey continues. <laughs> you know what we go through? Sometimes when you tell people, <laughs> people problem. think that, oh, you just sit down and make things up. Then go to the Swaziland border again. And they said, oh, you guys are bad. And now these people took our passport and they're trying to blackmail us that if you don't pay the 100 rands, that's the cancellation visa, we are not allowed to what? To go. They took, us, they took our passport. And since we have no time, we just had to pay, get another entry, which is free, but they collected us 100 rands each before they gave us our passport to get to the next border. And sometimes when I talk about this, people don't even support me. They say that, oh, you are making our country look bad. Listen, I just want my journey to be something that will transform the way we see Africa. That does not mean there are no struggles. There's nothing in life that you do that there are no struggles. There are struggles in everything that you do. But believe me, just stay positive, stay consistent, keep moving, and you'll definitely achieve it. Listen, I think if Elvis Derry is here, he would have testified that it hasn't been easy. A big shout out to Elvis. A big shout out to Peace. You all started this whole traveling movement with me. But it's rather unfortunate that you are all not here for us to celebrate a million together. But it's all good. We're still cool. And I wish you all the best in everything that you do. Because I, I remember there was a day that Elvis was slapped just because he was having what? Uh, Afro. And listen, if I talk about this, I sometimes want to shed tears. Um, they were denied entry in Mozambique. We had to sit in the trunk of a car. Yeah, behind the car, very windy. We had to hide, you yeah. know, ourselves inside this thing. It's crazy. This exactly, man. Crazy experience. Man. This is a very crazy experience. You have no option, man. Uh, and then just drive from that border to another border, which took us two hours. And listen, my girlfriend has been super supportive in this whole journey. And I'm so glad that I met her. We won't stop. The struggle has been real. But I'm going to tell you that Africa to the world is here to stay. Subscribe and be part of the channel. Thank you.